Hi guys, it's Janie. Welcome to back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, click the red button. Subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. This little envelope journal is long awaited. Mostly for me. Um, over in the uh, Pink Poodle group, we're doing a challenge. Or we did a challenge, should I say. Uh, an envelope journal. A minimum of 10 envelopes. And you know, the rules are kind of bendy, but let's say we're going to do an um, envelope for the outside cover. Um, and you could embellish it a little bit if you want, or you don't have to at all. Uh, and when you send it to somebody, they can do their own thing. And you don't have to send it either. But if you got it in by the end of January, you could have been... Um, submitted and you could have won a prize but I'm a little over so and I knew that um had things going on and so I really haven't worked on it so I can't say it's all me but here it is it's done what I did was I it's pretty chunky I did take a lot of stuff out put it to the side because what happens is when it's opened, and I'll show you a different ways, I would tend to rip it. And whoever's going to get it, whoever I send it to, they're going to take it out anyway. Because what I did was I made it more of a, uh, a show journal because I like to practice at least things that I know what to do with. And I tried stuffing the pockets full of goodies so they could have goodies to use. Forgetting it's an envelope journal so anyway this little dangle or charm um, I didn't really want to make a hole in the journal because the envelope would have been it just would have been too touch and go and I thought well and if they want to take it off well, it's better just to have it like that so anyway I made a little charms it has um little pieces of broken jewelry and um i made little beads and let's see what else there's a little paper bead somebody made me um i did put this key i really like these little keys that i got and this one says peace it had uh, peace love and faith i think I believe I got them off of Amazon. and uh, But anyway, it's just two little pieces. And there's a little crystal on there. So put some crystals and beads. Anyway, I'll put that there. And here's the journal. The outside. I wasn't going to put lace on it. But the reason I did is because the inside, the envelope, ended up being a little bigger than this part, the outside, and I didn't like that. So therefore I put some lace here and in the middle, and then I did tabs also, to kind of blend it or hide it, whatever. Um, this was tied in a nice bow, but I went ahead and took that apart and just kind of folded it over. I wanted to put this on there. And this I made out of, well, it's, it's a shrinky dink wrap. It's not the official shrinky dink wrap, wrap stuff, whatever. Um, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's been a long time. Anyway, it's not the, but it worked, I mean, for this one, but um, some of them didn't work out so well. But this I colored with some alcohol markers that I was trying. I'm still trying those out. Um and shrunk it up. Now, Stacy Evans over in the Pink Poodle group, Pink Poodle Pack on YouTube, um, she also has a video on the Shrinky Dinks. So you might want to go over and look look at that. I'll put a link in the uh, description and also put a link uh, for our uh, group. You can check that out. 
So that's why I did that. I'll take this off. For now. So this will just untie like that. This outside cover is, I used about 16 digital pieces. And so I, I'll try to remember some of them. I know this was a freebie from Calico Collage paper. These, these butterflies, I don't remember. That's just a sticker, a piece of lace, cheesecloth. So you open it up. There's that. And these are all die punches here. So I took all the little die punch outs and glued them all on this cover. These were also the uh, envelopes were all um, like painted, not the jelly print, not the jelly plate, but I think I did some sprays and things like that. And also some dyes. I did a lot of uh, uh, dyeing on the envelopes also. So when you see them colored, that's why. And I'll tell you the ones that aren't, obviously they're, uh, all flowers of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. In Proverbs, I just put that on there. Put a piece of lace. I found out that I have to embellish everything right now. I'm trying, but you know, just... This is from, uh, I believe it's Romantic Letters. And it's a marble paper pack. And I just cut that and glued that on. And then these are die cuts. Live today fully. These are from um, Dreams, etc., I believe. I just put a little piece of uh, lace on there. I'm just, again, I say I'm getting used to the camera. Well, 20 video videos later, I'm still getting used to it. But anyway, you look in here. Now, I put some, um, I'll show you the little cards that I put in here. Like I said, it ended up being a little bulky. I didn't want it to rip. Here, I did just a little collage here with some fabric and a bulb pin charm. I did stenciling. And here's some little bingo cards from Tsunami Rose. Cute. She can journal on those if she'd like. Or he, whoever. Okay. Can I really get this apart now? Okay. Anyway, these are um, <laughs> of course I can't remember. Anyway, if you want any information, leave your uh, comment and ask. I'll give it to you. <laughs> can't remember right now. But they're little drawings. It's kind of cute. It's an elephant. Swallow. Buttercups and daisies. I just thought these were the neatest thing. And I see there's other digitals out there. People who make digitals. I saw some. Um, but this is somebody else. Anyway, Morning Glory. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Butterflies. Cats and Mouse. Look at the little mouse. So cute. So there's those and the bingo cards. And you'll see that, okay, let me put these in. Now, this one was just a piece of scrap paper that I put on there. Um, and then I cut the edges because they were too close to here and I couldn't shut them. <laughs> so, but for example, inside here, you see, it, you know, when you have the envelope, you got to kind of, and what was happening is I was ripping. So... Anyway, this is a little tuck in here. And I just made a little, just a little print of an angel and I put lace here and here. And there she is on the back. I think this was a little Christmas card, if I'm not mistaken. So I put her in there. Put some lace around there. I have a feeling because I don't remember where I put the pockets. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'll turn this. I've got a little flag here. And I did some collage down here with a stamp. 
and some really old, old um, music paper. It was sort of uh, like disintegrating. So I put some Mod Podge on there. Or no, um, I think I put matte medium on there. There's another stamp and some eyelash trim. And then underneath here is a little birdie card. Kind of matches the birdies. Cute. It was supposed to be, uh, yeah, photo paper. But guess what? I put it in the wrong way. Okay, so we have a mat. There we go. Some more music paper and a little sticker. This was added. This was a smaller envelope that I just put in that way. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. And then it's a tag. I thought that was cute. This is just a piece of material that somebody sent me. When you turn it over, okay, I'm going to take these out. See, it was a real pretty envelope, so I didn't want to cover this up. So I just stenciled. And then little bucket list. They just have, like, there's blue, purple, darker purple, and blue. You can use those for cards. I think this is Victoria Designs, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to say a lot if I don't know <laughs> right off the bat. 16 is a lot just using this. And some more. Embrace everything you learn and blossom. This was from um, Dreams, etc. She could use that. And there's a little, there's a, no, this is a calendar. Um, my friend saves a lot of stuff for me, just odds and ends, and then I can use them for my journal. Journals. Like this is the first journal, envelope journal I made. Then I put some fabric here. I did put washi on this because I did have this split on the side thinking, oh, I can just tuck something in. Well, I thought, well, if I tuck something in, I can't put it in here. So I, it was like, so I put the washi on there. I fixed it. Mm, see nothing in there. Okay. I turn the page. And then I just put a pocket here. I collaged up here. I think these are some cutouts also from Tsunami Rose. And then I put some uh, ladder. I, I think it's called ladder trim. And uh, just some string back here. And there's a little bit of washi here. And so you can see this is was dyed. These are the envelopes. And then I believe this is uh, Screech Owl Designs, part of their kit. They do very pretty papers. She does. That there. There's a green one. I put some of that same material, but I inked it up. This is also um, a screech owl, and it was, this was very bulky. I made the, uh, a tag, little thing here from the paper, just kind of ripped it. But this, it, it's a little, I want to say a little kit that goes together, paper kit. And this little T, and turn it around. I thought, well, dang, the T, the T's not fitting in here, and I'm not going to take it out of the wrapper itself. So I just folded it. It's a chamomile and lavender herbal tea. And then I just stapled the, they have a little, everything matches, just little matchy-matchy. Just back. So I did that. Oops, I'm not supposed to go on that side. I have no idea why I didn't want it on that side. So it's kind of bulky in there, but that's okay. And then I made a tag. Punched a heart in here. Put a little bulb pin with a, a heart charm. I'm going to pocket out of this. I did some stenciling on the back. I mean... There's some stencil, some punches. I think that was a punch. And then some washi tape. Let's see, make sure there's nothing in here. Oh, here's a pocket. Here's some of the paper that goes with the, uh, um, the little kit there. And then I just backed them with coffee dye paper. And she can, or he can journal on those. So 
sorry, um, my screen went out. I don't know why. Anyway, um, this was backed also on coffee dyed paper. It says tea time and it's a little teacup. I guess I should maybe hurry it along a little bit <laughs> before it goes out completely. I got a new desktop. It's not supposed to go dark. Anyway, so then you turn it over and then I got some paper here and glued that on. It's like an embroidery stitch paper. And then I put a little doily and I put some uh, lace and some um, string, like metallic string back here and the ladder trim and a uh, butterfly. And then there's a little bookmark. Got in there. And then I put this with a, a die cut. Follow your dreams. And then I put the uh, put the little lace ruffle. I just sewed it by hand. And put some uh, sequins on there. And then did the fabric. And then I glued some little blingies here, a little Swarovski crystal, and then a bulb pin, and then I made little um, things there to hang down. <laughs> I can't think what they're called. Okay, let's see, make sure there's nothing else. Turn that. I put paper here and here, and then I made pockets out of it, and I got some trim here. I don't know why I put that there. I was thinking of something else. So anyway, see, there you have some there's love and hope. They're little tickets. And then this one is another little forget, ticket. You can use them as tickets. Then in here, I got this off of Pinterest and then I just ripped it. And that's a little hummingbird. You can journal on that. On I kind of did that with that. And I believe this is also the Calico Collage um, paper. Pretty that is. Their stuff is really, really colorful. We've got a little calendar here. <laughs> Everything's slipping out of my hands. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going to start laughing. Okay, so you can tuck that in there. Have a tuck spot there and my tuck spot there. Um, there is some paper, and of course, I've heard the name all night long in videos. You think I can think of it now? Of course not. Um, anyway, if you're interested, please ask me, and I'll let you know where I got it. The, the person that does the digitals in Etsy. Jeez, I'm just blank. Anyway, then I did a pocket up here, did a tag. Create something beautiful, miracles do happen. And did some cutout uh, flowers. I did a collage on the back with some paper um, stamps. I'm going to put a little bow on there. Use that. Got in there. Look, tag. Then back here, I put this paper up here and did a little collage here. And then I'll just put that there and then this comes out I believe this is from dreams etc also it's like a little postcard it just goes right up there that says wishes and more flower cutouts with some music paper and turn this around and this is supposed to be I folded it under because I didn't want it to get ripped but it's a little tab to pull her out. It's an index card. I fussy cut her. Cut her off of Pinterest. Put her on the index cards. Which again, they came from a digital also. This was ripping. So I kind of backed it with, uh, put some washi tape around there. I was messing with this for a month. Putting things in, taking them out, putting things in, taking them out. So yeah, it's been through a lot. On this side, just did some uh, tissue paper, not tissue paper, um, napkins, just 
collage down there and put some gesso over that. Put just a, um, a word, garden. And here I took a uh, pocket, put it here. This, I believe, is calico collage. And then I put a little sticker up here. This tag is, uh, I told um, you guys about taking some of the flowers out of, in the backyard. I have a lot of hibiscus and some little purple um, type flowers, uh, ruella or something. I can't remember the name. Anyway, put them in there um, on a piece of paper and ran them through the big shot. Somebody else in our group did this a while back. Was it Dana or Diana? Oh, geez. And I can't remember, of course, because it was that long ago. But anyway, that's where I got the idea. So I just take it, put them face down, run them through the big shot. And a lot of times they come out really pretty. So kind of like the eco dyed, only you're not eco dying. <laughs> but that was one of them. And I just backed it on the um, cardboard. So left that in there. Put anything in there? Nope. Nope. Okay. I turn that. There's a little stamp and a little flower and some washi tape. And this was a uh, die cut. This little bling bling um, butterfly. Some fabric right here. This little bulb pin made with love. Okay, and here, like I said, I had more stuff in here, um, but I took most of a lot of it out because it was too much. Postcard, a little pretty butterfly. I die, I die cut those and so the journal on that. If you want to? <laughs> Over here was a real trip to do. I tell you, I was. Once you get going, sometimes it's, I just kept going and did some stamping, collaging. These are die cuts. Um, there's a little bingo ticket. Put some lace behind it. Here's some. This was vintage uh, ribbon that I got from somebody quite a while ago. And I put this on here to tuck some little bingo cards in there. I think I got these and it was like a pack of ephemera or something. This was a while back. Put their, that in there. The only problem is this wasn't quite deep enough right here, but it's, it's staying okay. Again, in here, this was a index card, and then I took some napkin and decoupaged it on there. This I made, it's a like a watercolor um, paper, again, a digital. So I just took a piece and then I opened it up, and I die cut a little kitty. I got him off of Pinterest, or her, whichever. You can journal in there. I could see my camera's kind of not, it's going blurry a little bit. I just updated, a, um, had an update on the Logitech. And of course I did it right when I was ready to do the video. So <laughs> I don't know where the autofocus is. And then let's see, more of that vintage ribbon. And then I just put this image here. This is from, uh, um, Lorna Taylor from um, uh, it's Lorna Taylor. It's uh, Taylor Designs. You can think of the whole thing, of course. Not. Okay. Put a little ribbon here. Here's another one I put beautiful. I take the muslin and then stamp on it. Put some eyelash trim. There's a bulb pin here. And some little bling blings on there. Some lace, another stamp. Some, there's some lace there. I took an image from off of Pinterest, I believe, and then backed it here. And what I did with the with the stamps is I went ahead and stamped it, and then brought it all up into. So when you take it out, of course, excuse me, it'll go right into the other page just to kind of something different. that this was some fabric I got it 
Savers, I think, a thrift store. I think it was a piece of lace, in fact. And then I have a bunch of, this was like part of the design, so I cut that out. Follow your dreams, and I fussy cut the uh, butterflies and put uh, a backing on those to make them a little stiffer. And just stamped around this. Here's more of that marble paper, only because it's, it's real eclectic. It's all different in here. I fussy cut this out, put some cheesecloth. I dyed the cheesecloth with some spray from before. Be still and listen. And these are little tickets. Trust yourself, it says on here. They're backed with the coffee dye paper. Put them in there. Here's a pocket. Oh, looks like I left something in there. Library card. And I put some of the um, napkin on the back. A little Hershey Kisses right there. Fuzzy cut a butterfly. And then inked around the edges of these things you see. And then go ahead and journal on that. Turn that. It was a little piece of paper or something. And this I just put a little belly band. Um, and then just put an image here. Of a flower. It was pretty. On this one I said just because. I think this was an earring. It's a butterfly. And this was the muslin that I went ahead and stamped die cut and these I fussy cut and there's some lace and here I attempted a while back to do a bag and I did it out of parchment paper and I sewed it with a machine it was like a background something for when I was painting or baking or spraying whatever and I put a little funny it's a cute Inside is some cash. I did get a few of these from Annette um, Pyrie when she sent me a, um, a little journal for the challenge. I did a video on that, and she sent me a few of these too. I also have them in digital, um, so I got some more out. I just kind of, I don't know which is which because I just blended them all together. I know I got the coffee dyed ones. This little... money. There's something to write on. I put the little bunny rabbit in there. I guess I could put them right. Let's get them back in. Things fall apart on you. There we go. Glue. I'm waiting for it to go rip. I mean, it's really been handled a lot. And, oh, can we even cut this little thing? No. Okay. Here's a, uh, it was just a card. I don't know why this is. Oh, I do have a little space. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to put something in there. I didn't even realize it was there. This I collaged here uh, with napkin. Sweet garden, we wait for your flowers to bloom. So it's a little saying there. These are wood ladybugs. Some washi tape. And let's see, is this in here? No, that's in the next one. Okay. And here it says forever. This is just a sticker. And this was such a different color. I found this and it, it matched really well. And I just had some uh, love, laugh, live, some washi tape here and here. So I just made that like a tuck spot. But that was really pretty. Some coffee dyed paper there. This is, uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. 
Sorry if I go black on this. I can see it's going black. I don't know if I ran out of time. Anyway, this is um, a piece I cut out and I glued on here. And then there's a little tag. There's and right on that. I think it's catching on the piece of envelope right there. Okay. Get in there. Okay. One in the back, and I fussy cut a um, butterfly there. So, yep. And that's it. That is it. And then it's here, and you got the little butterfly. Okay. A few pieces that I left out. This was a a gigantic <laughs> bookmark. Uh, yeah. And then I just went and put the eyelet here with these uh, little charms on here. And I punched a little heart. <clears throat> but very big, um, yeah, bookmark. This was a few things. Um, uh, today, little calendar. There's the times for a day, and also the months and the, the days here, days of the week. So that's a little something. This was a little um, digital, and all went together again. You folded it uh, into a little coin envelope, and these were little tickets that went with this and then I put that on the paper clip inside I have a bunch of stamps that I cut out and inked and then marked I got that one One. So Mr. Rogers, my friend also will get special stamps to go on the letters that she sends me or cards or whatever, or that other people send her and she saves them for me. So that's where I get a lot of these. There's little Elvis. A butterfly. Mr. Rogers. Um, Lena Horn was a singer. Some of these are from a digital and some of them are mine. Some other ones here. Another stamp. Patsy Klein. This one, way back when I was young, we went to Pittsburgh, I believe. It was a Frank, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright home. Um, 1867 to 1959. And we went to visit this house. It was really cool. So that was a print. So anyway, I put some stamps in there just to mess around with. And just put that over there. Paper clip. So you can see how full that was. And then I had all the rest of this in there. I even had to leave a few things out that I'll send, but they couldn't go in there. This was another digital that you, and I thought, okay, I can make this into a little envelope. So I made this piece for the back. Um, yeah, you don't even want to know what I went through to get this to do. Anyway, somebody gave me this paper clip a while back. It's a little envelope. I ink the edges here and open it up. And then inside, I picked out some uh, more flower type stamps for here because it's like a more flowery um, digital. And different kinds of stamps. And these I I died. These I did not. I just left them because 
whoever I send it to, they may not like him dyed, so dyed, inked, whatever. These little papers. I did this. But oh, that was kind of cute, the little bag. The glue's holding up. <laughs> I guess a good thing. I got that. Then I made this bag out of a coffee filter. Can you tell? No. The back. You know, you get some bright ideas, right? So I put a sticker back here. Then I use the Kleenexes, collage that, put a piece of lace and a little tiny um, safety pin with some beads and the butterfly. All things grow with love. I stamped that. And inside, these are also from Lorna Taylor. She has uh, some flower designs and it says down here what they are. So I did some of the bigger ones. Different ones. And she has them in all different sizes. And then these were another size. There are different sizes here. And these, and these I inked up, so a bit different. There's those, and these are mushrooms. These are not hers. She might have some, but these I did not get. So, it's different mushrooms. You do something with. I guess if you have a sticker machine, too, you can, or sticker paper. I don't, I have not tried that yet, so. That in there, so there's my little bag out of a filter. It's pretty easy. Then this, I got this little, this came also with um, a digital, I think it was Tracy Fox, um, and it's little tiny embellishments. Um, then you cut this out, and then you, of course, glue it, and it ends up to be a little box. That's flat, like that. See? And it's folded up, and it comes out to be a box. So yeah, there you go. I'm not sending her to the box, but I'm sending her the this fold. And I got this. Again, the calico collage um, envelopes, fairies. Then inside, there's some little note cards. Some images of the fairies. There. I got this. This wouldn't fit in there, but I thought it was so cute. It's a vintage somebody gave me again that I scanned and backed on coffee dyed paper. But it says, make yourself at home. Clean my kitchen. 2010. That's cute. Then I did a guest check. And I did a little... Um, napkin collage on there and then I fussy cut a butterfly just ink that up and then this is just some I don't know where I got this but I scanned them things you must do to make you happy and it says yesterday immediately and from now on and it has little all different kinds of cool things um, and it says please pretty please or else signature Happiness is overrated. You can be happy without it. I have no idea. I found it at a thrift store. It was cute. I found this too. All out of. It's a little list for shopping. You know, you got your fruits, your pet items, dairies, beverages, frozen. All right. little ephemera. I'll probably send a few other things, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, this was all stuffed in there, and you saw how full it was. And there it is. So anyway, okay.
thank you. I will be coming back with another video soon, um, probably a haul video, which I was going to do months ago and still sitting in my living room. But if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.